everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show y'all a few hairstyles that I go to if I just don't want to wear my hair down or maybe it's like day three like it is now today um, and just different ways to put up your hair or pin back your hair that can be really cute and kind of cool for the summer. During the summer I get super super hot and I sweat a lot so I don't usually wear my hair down in the summer. I've only been wearing it down maybe like once a week, once every two weeks. <laughs> so the rest of the time it's either up or I do one of these hairstyles to kind of keep it out of my face. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm starting with day three hair. Um, as you can see, it's not too bad. It has lost some of the definition and this side especially has lost a lot of its volume just due to the fact that I have been sweating a little bit. So I'm actually going to refresh a little bit but only with this dry shampoo. Since I'm going to be putting my hair up or you know doing these different hairstyles anyways, I'm not going to do a full refresh because I'm not going to have my hair down. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter if it like has all of the curls or waves intact. But anyways, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the original scent. Um, as far as I know, this is curly girl friendly. Um, it might have like one alcohol in here, but otherwise it's pretty okay. I don't use this too often, only when like I really need to. But yeah, I would try to not use this too much, um, just maybe like once in a while. So. I'm going to lift up my hair and just spray it through, especially on this side because there's like no volume. <laughs> okay, so once that's in there, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to rub it through. Alright everyone, as you can see, it did kind of absorb some of that oil and my hair has become a little bit more voluminous. Um, this side still, it's going to be a little flatter anyways just because there's not as much hair on this side. What you can do is, if you really like don't like how flat your hair is looking, just switch it to the other side. <laughs> Sometimes I do this and it's up to you like which side you want to be fuller, but yeah. You can part your hair either way. If you part your hair in the middle, I would say try to use a mousse instead because that's going to kind of reactivate the curls and it's going to give a little bit more body to your hair. Alright, so let's get into hairstyle number one. So this one is super easy. If you know how to braid, then you can do most of these hairstyles. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be braiding this back. Because it's already flat over here, when I pin it up, it's just going to look the same, but a little bit more refined. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take a section of your hair, like right in front of your ear, and then you're just going to braid this, a three-strand braid. If you don't know how to braid, just try to look up tutorials on YouTube. There's so many of them. Um, I actually learned how to braid when I was in middle school by watching YouTube. So anything's possible. <laughs> so now that your braid is done, since this is like a very thin braid, what you want to do if you want a little bit of a fuller look is you can grab like these parts of your braid and tug them a little bit. That way your braid appears a little bit fuller and more voluminous. Same on this other side, you're just tugging gently. Make sure you're holding it here at the bottom so that you're not like taking out the braid completely because then that would be kind of pointless, right? But yeah, so just keep tucking it, making sure you're not doing too, too much. And yeah, so you can see like the braid is much fuller and with this braid, you're going to just pin it back like this. What I like to do is I like to use a bobby pin first to hold it in place. And then I will use one of these like beret clips and you're going to pin this this way because this side has 
the end here and I don't like how that looks. For example, if I were to pin it this way, you would see that end right here. So I want to pin it in the opposite direction. That's why I put the bobby pin in first to make sure it's all secure. But yeah, then you just put it over that bobby pin like so. Alright everyone, so here's hairstyle number one. Alright everyone, so because this hairstyle has this half of your hair still out, it's going to be a little bit hot. <laughs> so if you want to kind of, you know, make this a little bit of a cooler hairstyle to where it's not going to be up in your face as much, you can do the same thing on this side of your head so that both of them are pinned back. So let me show you what that looks like. Again, you're going to take like this front side of your hair. This side is obviously going to be way thicker than the other side, but you're just going to do the same thing. Now for this side, because it is thicker, I'm not going to pull apart the braid too much, but like these bottom pieces for sure, I want to make a little bit bigger and a little bit fluffier. Alright, so now that I've pulled apart the braid a little bit, I'm just going to do the same thing and pin it back. And then it's optional, but you could have just done just a bobby pin on both sides, but since I have the matching clip, I'm going to put it in on this side as well. Alright everyone, so here's the second hairstyle, which is basically just like a modification of the first one. But yeah, this is what it looks on this side, and then on this side. So I really, really love this hairstyle. I think it's very cute and still like keeping it playful, but you have your curls out at the bottom still, so you can still show off like part of your natural hair. Um, this can be great for any event or if you just want to go out. <laughs> All right, y'all, so the next hairstyle is actually just pigtails. <laughs> so nothing new, but I did want to show y'all what it looks like on naturally wavy hair. I actually wore this hairstyle out last night when I hung out with my friends and it looked really cute with my outfit. Um, check out my Instagram if you want to see the full look. <laughs> so basically you're just going to separate your hair in the back into two equal sections. Again, this side will be a little bit thicker, but as long as you're parting your hair down the middle in the back, you should have at least, you know, proportionate sections on both sides. I like to use um, cute hair ties to do my pigtails. Usually I only use scrunchies to put up my hair, but because these are pigtails and they're kind of just right here, they're not pulling on top of your head, they're not really straining your hair, I just use regular hair ties like this. These have the pearl additions around them, so they're really cute and playful. So first you're just going to grab the side and kind of like gauge where you want your pigtail to be. So mine usually ends up being right there. So all you're going to do is tie it back. <laughs> so for a looser look, I like to just do twice, but if you want it to be more secure, obviously you're going to do it a third time. Alright, so with this, you can kind of like pull it down to adjust the level and I like to actually pull it up here at the top so that I still have a little bit of volume because y'all know I love volume. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what this side looks like. And then same thing on this side as well. So make sure that your pigtails are even. So obviously this one is way up high. So bring it down to the same level. And then again, on this side, I'm going to be pulling up here so that my hair looks full up top as well. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Super easy, and it does keep your hair out of your face. But sometimes I do like to let like these little layers at the top come out and maybe, you know, re- finger coil them to make them a little bit more wavier. You can actually put a little bit of water in this section and then apply just a little bit more of your styling gel to kind of revive that wave or that curl. So this is the third hairstyle. Super cute and it makes you look super young obviously because they're pigtails. One additional thing that you could do is you could actually make this into a bun. 
So let me show you what that looks like. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the hair on one side and then start twisting it like this and then kind of like circle it around to make your bun making sure that all of your hair is in there and then you're going to be wrapping the ponytail around this button like so so here you can like fix up any little pieces that are kind of out of place and yeah that is the first little button and then on this side as well same exact thing so take your hair twist it back my hair has a lot of layers in it, but it can work either way. The layers might just fall out, but you know, that's all right. <laughs> hair is never meant to be perfect. All right, so here are the pigtail buns, as you can see. These are a lot like messier and a little bit more playful than the pigtails themselves, um, but definitely does keep your hair off of your shoulders, off of your neck. So if it's super hot outside but you still want to look really cute, you can try this hairstyle in the bun. <laughs> Alright, so the next variation of a bun-like hairstyle is you're actually going to take the middle section of your hair like so. Go back about halfway of your head, like to your top of your head area, and then make that section. So you should have this part of your hair section off. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing as we did for your pigtail buns. Just twist it and then kind of like loop it around to form a mini bun. Now for this one, you can use a like hair tie like this, but I just like to use bobby pins because it stays better and you can control what the bun looks like afterwards. So just slide in your bobby pins like so. So with this one, the bun at the top is pretty small because my hair actually, it's not as um, dense as you would think it is. It looks like I have a lot of hair, <laughs> but actually it's just because of like my hair texture that makes it look that way. But here, what you can do is you can actually pull apart the bun just like you do with the braid to kind of make it look a little bit bigger. So here you see that I have made it a tiny bit bigger and if any layers are starting to poke out that you don't want, you can always take a bobby pin and just pin it back again. Alright everyone, here is the hairstyle. So for this one, yes, the sides of your hair will probably have less volume and look a little flat. What you can do, because you are having this part of your hair down, if you can refresh the rest of your hair that's over here. Follow my refresh video and watch it again to kind of see how I refresh, but just, you know, spray some water, apply more styling products, and you'll be good to go. Alright, now a variation to that would be two buns at the top, and for this one I'm going to part my hair in the middle, which I normally don't like parting my hair in the middle, but for this hairstyle, it does look better if you do part your hair in the middle. You can totally just do it like this, parting it off to one side, but in my opinion, parting it in the middle makes it look more even, and you'll have even amounts of hair to work with. Just using my fingers, I'm going to be parting my hair in the middle, and this doesn't have to be exactly in the middle to make it look a little bit more natural. But yeah, so parting my hair in the middle obviously does not really flatter my face if I do it like this. But let me show you with the buns. So you want to go from like the top of your eyebrow and section that part back to about like this much. So still having hair back here, but having a good amount of hair to work with in the front. So same thing, you're just going to twist your hair and then you're going to circle it around to make that bun. Then taking your bobby pins, you're going to pin it in place. I actually just needed one to hold it in place. <laughs> but here you can see like in this part, I need to pin some of that back. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So again, what you can do is you can pull apart this bun like I did for the bun in the middle or you can just leave it like this, like a tiny cute little bun, which I'm going to do today. 
So same thing, you're going to section off from the top of your eyebrow back, and then again only going part way so that you still have most of your hair back here. And then you're going to twist it. Then again you're going to pin it in place with your bobby pin. Alright everyone, so here is the finished look for this hairstyle. <laughs> this is one of my favorites because it's super cute, but also like very unique, especially in Korea I feel like. People don't really walk around with their hair like this, so if you're not comfortable with like going out of the box, maybe save this for a special occasion that you want to just be a little bit bolder in. But for me, I do like to rock this hairstyle, you know, any day <laughs> whenever I go out. But yeah, I hope you like these little tiny space buttons. And again, of course, with this part of your hair, if you want it to be a little bit more defined, definitely refresh it. So spray with water, apply more styling product, and then scrunch it up. But for me, I kind of like the looser waves to it. It kind of makes it look a little bit more boho and <laughs> just like more relaxed and, you know, that's just what I like at the moment. Alright everyone, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you maybe found some hairstyles that you haven't seen before or that you haven't tried before, especially on naturally wavy or curly hair. Of course, you can just put your hair up in a ponytail. I think that actually looks really cute with naturally textured hair. Definitely though, you need to be using a scrunchie if you're going to be putting up your hair in a ponytail. Otherwise, if you use one of these regular hair ties for putting all of your hair up in a ponytail, it can cause a lot of breakage. So I highly suggest getting some scrunchies. They're everywhere. This one is specifically a silk scrunchie, so made out of silk fabric, but any scrunchie will pretty much do. If it is silk or satin based, definitely a lot better, but try this out and make sure that you are protecting your hair as much as you can. <laughs> Okay, so I will see y'all in my next one. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me which hairstyle was your favorite. And yeah, hope you'll have a good day. <laughs> Bye!